Last question comes from Joseph from Iowa. What can you do to help farmers who want to transition to organic ag, agriculture? Well, I think we ought to do more to help farmers transition to organic agriculture. Right now, uh, organic uh, uh, vegetables and meats, all oh, organic milk, organics as a whole, is the fastest growing segment of our food chain. Fastest, 20% a year. People are demanding this. Uh, uh, people that are in the business of selling uh, organics tell me that they can't get enough locally, so they have to import it from overseas. And yet we grow anything in this country. Now, the problem with becoming an organic farmer is that if, if you're using pesticides and herbicides and things like that, it, by law, you have to go three years without using any of that before you can be certified organic. Well, during those three years is what we kind of call the valley of death. If you don't use herbicides and pesticides and fertilizer or that kind of stuff, uh, 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 your yield goes down. But you can't get the higher prices that organics are getting. So you got about three years there where you're, you're really in trouble. So a lot of times people who start out to be organic, they hit that first year, they say, I can't, I can't go two more years like this, and then they stop. Uh, trying to transition to be organic farmers. So what I've attempted to do in our farm bill, two things. One is to have a cost share for the uh, for becoming certified. When you become certified, you have to pay a fee. And uh, we now are providing a 50% cost share for farmers. So we pay 50% of that. I think it's up to about $700 for that registration. More importantly, during that three-year period of time now uh, with this new farm bill, we'll be paying farmers transition payments so that if once they sign up to become an organic, to produce organics, then whatever they do on that land, we will give them cost share for three years to get them through that valley of death. So I think with that, uh, we can get more and more farmers going into organics. And, and look at it this way also for my state of Iowa. Uh, there are a lot of farmers that, that uh, maybe like they, they maybe they won't do the whole farm or organic, but they'll do something in organics. This can provide a really good cash flow for young farmers just starting out in agriculture. So off of just a few acres, they can make enough to to really uh, get cash flow to to build up some equity, that type of thing. And I see this as a way of helping young farmers become uh, uh, you know, beginning farmers, really getting a foothold. So. Uh, I, I, I think this is something we have to really push hard on, and I, I did this in our farm bill, so hopefully in the next few years we'll see more and more young people getting into organic agriculture. Senator, thank you very much for answering these questions from your supporters and constituents. Well, look forward to doing this again, and I, again, I encourage uh, anyone who uh, comes on TomHarkin.com, if you've got questions like this, please fire them in. We'll do our best to get back to you and answer them. and. Uh, maybe even more important than that, uh, than my answers to you or your suggestions to me. If you've got suggestions, ideas uh, that you think would work or that you think we ought to be thinking about or maybe uh, different ways we can do things, I'm always looking for new ways of doing things. So give me your advice and suggestions. I would appreciate it.